every beginning is difficult if you don't know what you actually need. That's why a lot of people look at different YouTube videos at the beginning and uh, think how do those other people's images look so good. In my previous videos it was all about which camera to buy, what are the best settings uh, for different film situations and the third video covered all the gear that you need to start a YouTube channel. This video specifically is about buying a cheap and versatile light setup and getting familiar with it and its placement. I will give you tips on what you should buy, explain what everything is designed for and how to actually set it up properly. I will also show you two different setups that you can do while using it in a practical example. And of course I will have all the links in the description for everything that you need. If you should buy something from this list, it won't cost you an extra cent, but gives me a small fee for which I actually thank you in advance. So let's get started with the lights that we need to order. In this kit we will actually have two lights that serve well two different roles. One is a key light that can be used for many different things in a lot of practical ways, be it an interview, a talking head, product shots or simply illuminating your whole room. But we won't just get any light, no, it must be a softbox. Why a softbox you may ask? Soft light makes you look more beautiful. This softbox is available in a set together with a light stand for just under $30 and can easily be popped up. Then you'd throw actually this diffusion layer on top and the 85 watt lamp is already as a key light. Uh, leech, but uh, if I buy an LED light then I don't need a softbox at all, right? Uh, nope. That's not true at all. Even if you get an LED light, you still need something to diffuse the light and make it softer. Which is why this large softbox here actually comes into play. My current setup is a really big LED light that is filtered by a massive softbox with which I can achieve this beautiful shot that you are seeing right now. I also have a small trick that I will give away with the second light if you don't have the room for actually such a big softbox. Now to the second light, which in our situation is actually called a kicker. The Yongnuo YN300 Air Pro LED light for around 39 monies. It comes without a battery or charger, but if you already have Sony NPF batteries, you can actually use them. Otherwise you have to buy a charger with two batteries that costs around 25 money. The LED panel has plastic diffusion at the front which makes the light itself a bit softer and is switched on using a button which is also a rotary knob. The light is super bright and can therefore be used for a lot of different things. It is dimmable and it can also be used via DC input if you don't want to operate it with batteries. In addition, it can display two different temperature ranges, 32K and 55K or tungsten and daylight. It has a small ball head mount at the bottom with a 1 4th screw and is actually the perfect light for a lot of situations other than a key light. It is great as a background light, it is great as a hair light and as well as a kicker. And lastly, we need a second light stand which costs around 17 money directly from Amazon. Of course you cannot expect super high quality of it, but for a small light you only need a small and inexpensive stand. And uh, now we have everything we need for a beginner YouTube light set. So I'm going to change the setup and the location and uh, we'll see us uh, again in the new location with the 100 money light setup. So now that I'm done with the conversion and uh, it somehow went uh, damn quickly, movie magic! At the moment only my room lights are active, the new light setup itself is switched off, which we will change in a moment. I have now distributed the two lights in the room so that there is a nice soft light afterwards and uh, now I will actually switch on the key light. Okay, that is much too bright. I don't have to adjust the light itself now, but I will actually change my camera settings to switch off the overexposure and reduce my ISO levels to a well tolerable level. 
uh, much much better. We now have a nice and soft light right on my face which gives a certain definition to my face and the background is much cleaner as well. Now to make the whole thing a little more interesting and pretty we actually turn on the kicker light on the other side which actually takes a second. Yeah. So the results could actually look something like this if you put everything together. The key light, the kicker with the batteries and the two stands. For 100 money I think this is a very good result in itself. To make the whole thing clear again I switch off the lights now. Here you can see the normal setup again without the lights. And you can clearly see that the light setup brings a significant increase in contrast to a setup without lights or with natural lights or just your room lights. The second setup that I've mentioned at the beginning of the video will be a different angle in which we actually bring the light closer to me and then zoom in a little bit closer with the camera. A softbox makes the light softer the closer it gets to its object. So here's the second setup. The light is much closer to my face and the camera is also closer as well. Overall, this is a much tighter setup. As you can see, the light is now a lot softer. The definition has become a bit more and the play with light and shadows seems much clearer on my face. If you turn on the kicker, you also get a really nice interview setup for documentaries or for a really good stream altogether. For 100 money this is a really nice setup that does not require a lot of work, can be set up nearly everywhere in zero times and looks professional enough for most beginner situations you can actually think about. I guess we are done with the video. If you have any more questions then click on the subscribe button while you are on the way down to the comments. I look forward to actually answering all of them. If you want to buy the products that I've presented here, then I packed all the links down in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to the next video. I'm off scripting that now. So my name was Leech and uh, yeah, I actually say to you, goodbye.